Hey, MVPs. Rico Nose here. Going to talk to you guys about the Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament. Uh, it's getting ready to start sometime this week, I think Thursday. And when you look at it, you see the odds-on favorite is Purdue. Rightfully so. They've only lost three games this year. Zach Eady looks like a monster in the paint. Thank you for coming back another year. Uh, Shout-out to Purdue. Plus 100. Those odds sound really good. You can double your money by picking the number one team. I don't think Illinois matches up well with them. I don't think Nebraska matches up well. Wisconsin, Michigan State. I, I don't think they match up well. Now, do we believe in Purdue? This team always underachieves, and they're terrible. And you're looking at a team like Michigan State in the bracket. Let me show you guys the bracket here. When you look at this bracket, and I don't know if you guys can see it, if I'm zoomed in enough or what, but when you look at it, you see Purdue sitting here with a bye. Game seven, they're waiting for the winner of Minnesota-Michigan State. This means if Izzo can get his team together, they're going to get here and have to beat a Michigan State team just for their first win. They'll go to the next round. Right? I don't believe in Wisconsin. The Wills have fallen off in the second half of the season. They started off really hot. Once they got into conference play, they looked terrible. I'll just keep it real. And they're going to go up against Northwestern. I love Northwestern. I will talk about them in a few. Ohio State and Iowa don't care who wins. Probably not beating Illinois. By the way, Illinois does not match up well with Purdue. We've seen that now twice in two games. They just don't have the manpower for it. I don't care who wins here. Don't care who wins here. I think Nebraska finds a way to win. Illinois, Nebraska, irrelevant. The one that matters to me is Northwestern. I really, really like Northwestern, guys, for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, um, Northwestern, when you look at it, they're fourth in the conference, so they're the fourth seed, but there's just something about them being competitive against ranked teams. There's something about them getting over 20 wins. Like, they really do well, and when you go look at their individual players, let me get rid of Wisconsin here. When you go look at the individual Northwestern team, we're talking about a team with small ball. Okay, small ball, bunch of guards shooting and making baskets. They don't have a big man in the center, but they already beat a big man. If you go look at how they beat Dayton, they just outshot him and outscored him. And Dayton has a big 6'10 center, right? You have these, these teams with really good centers. Now, yeah, they lost to Mississippi State. It's a good team on the bubble, right? They've already beat Purdue. 92-88. Purdue wants no part of these little guards that go around and shooting. This is the recipe for beating Purdue. This is how they lost in the tournament last year. They lost to a team that comes out and shoots with their guards. I like it. The problem is, is can they beat a team like Illinois? They couldn't beat them on the road, lost by 30. So the problem is Illinois all day. But I actually think <laughs> if we're picking winners, and, and it's one of these things where you're going to look to see what the spread is. I don't know if you can pick. Uh, oh, by the way, I wanted to show you conference season. I don't know if you can pick Northwestern to win the whole conference because they don't match up well with Nebraska or Illinois, but they definitely match up well with Purdue. So maybe in that head-to-head, -head, you believe in Northwestern. You see this Bo Bowie here? This kid has been at Northwestern for four years now, five years. He is a walking bucket, bro. He's a bucket and a half. Bo Bowie is a star. And if you watch the game, I don't think Purdue has any answer for Bo. I think these guys, these guards – at Northwestern are the truth. So when you go back and look again, I think Northwestern is going to knock Purdue off. That's how I believe in it. If you want to bet on it. So pay attention when that comes, it's going to be game 11, right? On CBS, if Northwestern, they should win. They should beat Wisconsin. If they get up over here and they play Purdue, I like Northwestern to cover the spread. So look what the spread is and go with Northwestern to cover the spread or outright upset. It might be huge odds. I would take it. I like Northwestern a lot. Okay. In the championship, though, I don't know if they can beat Illinois. If Illinois Northwestern gets there, you got to believe it's Illinois. So who's going to win this conference? It's easy to go here. It's really difficult to go here, but I get it. And my God, would I sprinkle this plus 1,700. It's 1,700, bro. I would throw 20 bucks at that. That's me. That's Rico, right? I would go 20 here. I would go 20 here. And now you've put $40 on two teams that don't have any business beating Purdue. I hear you. I'm just telling you, I like that right there. That 340 is huge. It's probably not going to happen. But go pay attention to the Northwestern Purdue spread and believe in Northwestern in that spread. That game's coming up soon. Believe in it. Your friends don't know, but Rico knows. Good luck, y'all.